In today's episode, we talk about the end of Infinity War and what to look for next. What is up guys, welcome to Walt and Watch, I am Matt, and today we are taking a look now that Infinity War is out and most of you have seen it. We're going to be talking about what happens next. Now, before we get too deep into it, this is going to be spoiler-filled. Uh, it's going to be a bunch of theories, but we are going to be talking about what actually happened in Infinity War. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead, go and watch it and enjoy it, and then come back and watch this uh, video. All right. Spoilers coming in three, two, one. All right. So the snap has happened. People are gone. And now what happens? We have Ant-Man and Wasp coming up. We have Captain Marvel. And then we have Avengers 4, which is untitled at the moment, coming out next year. So what is going to actually happen next? Well, I want to throw four theories at you. Of what I think is going to be happening either in Captain Marvel and Ant-Man and the Wasp or Avengers 4. My first theory is the continuation theory. Basically, we act like, yes, it was a terrible thing that happened, but life goes on and we have to move on. And so we're just going to say, okay, now they need to be avenged. We have to find Thanos. We have to kill him. And we need to restore order to the galaxy. This one, it, the galaxy, like it's Star Wars, the universe, the cosmos, whatever you would like to call it. But this one is the least likely just because I think most of us are on board with the fact that they're not going going to forever kill off Spider-Man. They're not going to forever kill off Black Panther and some of these characters. So there has to be some sort of way to change things. So this one's highly unlikely, but I actually would like to see this. I would like the emotional toll of what happened to stick so then that this movie can keep standing up because I feel like if we start messing around with other stuff and eventually they come back, then the hit the emotional toll that this movie took will be watered down after the new movies come out and they end up just coming back anyways. The second theory I'm calling Thanos was right. So this one is where we catch up with our characters maybe a few months or years later in the timeline. The snap has happened, people are gone, but what if Thanos is right? What if we return to Earth and it is this angelic place this utopia where everyone is getting along and there are plenty of resources to go around there is no war there is no conflict but what if that is the case and then the big dilemma we have is that tony stark and captain america and all of the avengers want to go and find their friends either to avenge them or to find them again but they are running into some problems because there's the big debate of well he was kind of right, and everything is going well. The Captain Marvel theory. Now, for those who don't know, that Captain Marvel is supposed to be based in the 1990s. So this actually, that movie, the next movie that comes out, was actually going to happen way before all of this ever happens. And in the post credit scene, we see that Nick Fury was trying to contact Captain Marvel, and maybe something happens where he's sending her back a message, and then she can change something. Maybe she finds an Infinity Stone, or she warns some people, and something happens, so then in the future, Thanos can never get all the Infinity Stones, or they are just ready for what he's going to do, therefore changing the timeline, and the people never disappear in the first place. Once again, I think this would be a little bit weak, just because then it completely basically erases Avengers Infinity War off the map. And then it also erases a ton of other things off the map. Now, one interesting thing about this theory, though, is that with all these people and their contracts expiring, this would be a very good way to relaunch it because then you can have Iron Man, but it's not Tony Stark. You could have, um, you know, Spider-Man, but it's not Peter Parker. You could have all of these different characters coming out. And because the timeline was altered back in the 90s, to stop Thanos from getting all the Infinity Stones and wiping out half of the universe, you could also have it where that butterfly effect that happens in the 90s then changes things, and we have different Avengers, still Captain America and Thor and all those sort of things. And you can even include some, but it would give you the flexibility to if you were changing actors or changing who these people are, then all of a sudden... Um, 
you know, Bucky becomes the new Captain America because they never find the old one in the ice or just different things like that. So that could be a creative way of doing it. But once again, um, a little bit weak just because you are just bringing back these people that you just took away. Lose the battle, win the war. This movie was called Infinity War and it was a very quick war but what i think happened is we see dr strange looking at all these possibilities when they're on titan of how they can win and he looks at i think he says something like 14 million different things and there's only one way that they can win and what if the way that they can win is by letting thanos win the whole idea of maybe he saw into the future he saw that thanos was going to get all of the stones one way or the other he was going to snap his fingers there was no way that they could stop him in any way shape or form he was just too powerful. So the only solution is to let him do what he's going to do. Yes, fight and fight and fight till the end, but know that if he does win, half of us are going to disappear. Half of us are going to be gone. Then we see that the Infinity Gauntlet is melted, that maybe he just could not withstand that much power. We see that the Infinity Stones are still there, but maybe they end up getting scattered, or maybe they have to go find Thanos, who just is half holding on to them and they're all just being stored in his little stowaway planet um, and not in the Infi Infinity Gauntlet. And maybe Tony Stark has to go back and we even see in the Forge that there's still the mold for the Infinity Gauntlet. Maybe he has to make his own, get the Infinity Gauntlet. They have to finally defeat Thanos to get the Infinity Stones back and then they have to do the snap again and maybe reverse what happened. There's a few reasons that I think this. One is when Doctor Strange says that we're in the long game now. He seems pretty, or we're in the end game now. That he seems pretty calm about the fact that this is just going to have to happen. And I think he even says something along the lines of like, it had to go this way or it had to end this way. Basically saying that he knew that this was going to happen while it's not ideal, it had to happen because it was the only way in the long run that they could lose this battle but win the war and save all of these people. Another interesting thing that I found was that the reactions of the characters that were on Titan who were talking to Doctor Strange and potentially knew the future plot were much different than the ones when they were talking to people on Earth. The people on Earth seemed absolutely horrified about what was happening. The people on Titan just seemed a little bit like in shock and kind of uh, nervous. It was really interesting because like Peter Quill uh, was just sort of like, oh, man. And um, even Doctor Strange seemed to have a piece about it. Probably what happened was they discussed among themselves saying, okay, half of humanity is going to be gone. Maybe that's one of the reasons he had to save uh, Tony Stark because he knew that either him or Tony Stark had to survive because one of them was most likely going to vanish and disappear. And so that was an interesting thing. And the idea that when Peter Parker, Spider-Man, was uh, starting to fade, he's like, uh, you know, Tony, I don't, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. And he leans on him. And it's a really emotional moment. But in that moment, what he's saying is, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Instead of, I don't want to die. One of the reasons might be because he knows that he's. it's been explained to him that, yes, some of us are going to vanish, some of us are going to be gone, but don't worry, we are going to get the Infinity Stones, we're going to make a new gauntlet, and we are going to bring you back. And so, without knowing who is going to actually be going, that would be a little bit nerve-wracking. And so, once he finally realizes that he's one of the ones who's going to be disappearing, it hits him. He is a young kid, after all. And so, while the other ones might be able to kind of face that danger and say, this is the worst, but I'm trusting you guys that you're going to bring us back. And so, they just kind of are at that, like, struggling piece with it. While Peter Parker, being a young kid, once it actually hits him that he's one of the ones that is going to have to go into this darkness, hopefully hopefully not for forever, but potentially, he starts to freak out. And he grabs on to Tony and he says, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And Tony just holds him, knowing there's nothing he can do to comfort him besides avenging him and going and reversing what Thanos had done. And my last theory is the soul theory. Now, in the comics, the soul stone actually collects souls. What it does is it houses souls in the stone itself. And I thought it was really interesting that all the characters that we see die actually don't 
necessarily die. They vanish. Much like we saw with the Tesseract and Red Skull, he just kind of vanished into space, into who knows where. And while these people were just crumbling, they didn't really necessarily die. They didn't, like, their hearts stop and their bodies fell over, but they just kind of vanished. And an interesting thing is I'm wondering if potentially they are housed in the Soul Stone. We, I think that we actually see inside the Soul Stone a few times. One, when uh, Thanos is kind of in that vision area of um, right after he sacrifices Gamora and there's that big flash and he's floating in the water and then he has the Soul Stone. And then also, right when he's being stabbed and then he snaps... Uh, he's also, once again, floating in the water, and he runs into Gamora, another person who was sacrificed to the Soul Stone. Maybe he runs into her because at that moment, his spirit is currently in the Soul Stone, but because he's not one of the half, or because he was the one who did the snap, he doesn't have to stay there, and he comes out into consciousness, and that's when we see people start disappearing. So I'm wondering if inside of the soul stone is where all of these souls are being housed so then the avengers figure this out or they know this and then they have to track down thanos find the soul stone and then either break the soul stone or do something with the soul stone to make it um release all these souls back into the universe so that's just one theory that maybe they're all just housed inside of the soul stone like we potentially saw with thanos when he was hanging out uh, talking to young Gamora after she was sacrificed, and maybe the that Avengers 4 will be them trying to find the Soul Stone so they can free all of their friends. Well, those are my theories, but a great way to hear cool theories is if you go to an app called Stardust. I've told you guys about this a few times, and we're actually doing a giveaway where you can maybe go and see Avengers Infinity War for the 5th, 6th, 7th time with this Fandango gift card. So if you want to go, download the app and listen to a bunch of different reactions. They actually have a setting that's spoiler and spoiler free. So if you haven't seen the movie and you just want to hear what people think, you can do that. Or if you want to deep dive into what people who have seen the movie think, and where they think that the next movies are going, you can also check that out. Stardust is a great app. It kind of mashes together YouTube and Snapchat. You just post a quick 30-second reaction of what you think about TV shows and movies, and you can really meet a lot of cool people and respond to them about what you think about different movies and TVs. If you're interested, the link is down below. You can download it. Make sure that you find me and I'm your first follow to enter to win that gift card. Well, those are just a few quick theories that I have about what might be happening in the future of the Avengers. What do you guys think? You guys, have you seen the movies a few times? I've seen it twice so far. So maybe after another viewing, maybe I'll catch some more things. But those are my theories. What do you guys think? Do you like one of those theories? Is there another one that you either came up with yourself or that you've seen somewhere else online and you think that this is the direction that they're going to go? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. We truly appreciate when you do that. It's such such a huge help to us when you guys do that. So thank you. Well, thank you for hanging out with me and listening to my crazy theories. Uh, once again, we will be continuing to talk movies and different things coming up on Friday. So thank you for joining me for the Wednesday show. We will see you on Friday.